Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to arrange the following radicals or sort operations in decreasing order. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concept. We have arranged the fifth root of three, the cube root of two, and the sixth root of five in decreasing order. The first step will be to change each radical operation into index form. What we have to do is we have using the law of exponent, if we have a base, let's say we have a raised to a fraction x over y, the x at the top will be the power and the y at the bottom will be the root, such that I can rewrite this in radical form to be y th root of a, the base, raised to the power of x. So what I'm going to do in each case is to change each one to index form. So I'm going to have 3, which is my base, raised to, there's an invisible power of 1, and then the fifth root, so that will be 1 over 5. Cube root of 2 will be 2 to the power of, there's an invisible power of 1 here, so that will be 1 over 3. And the last one, I have the base of 5, there's an invisible power of 1, so I have the power of 1 over the root of 6. If you look at each of this power, that says I have... 1 over 5, 1 over 3, and 1 over 6, they're all in fractions. So therefore, to find the LCM of the denominator or the lowest common denominator for 1 over 5, 1 over 3, 1 over 6, I have LCM, or lowest common, I'm going to call that my lowest common denominator, LCD, of 5, 3, and 6 it's equal to 30 so therefore I'm going to change the denominator of each one to 30 so I have 3 1 over 5 to change to 30 I'm going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 6 so what I have is 3 to the power of 1 times 6 6 over 30 which is equal to I want to make it in factors. So dividing by 6, I have 3 to the power of 6 raised to the power of 1 over 30. Note that laws of exponent, if I have a base raised to a power and raised to another power, laws of power or power to power states that I have that as a to the power of x times y, which is equal to a to the power of x, y. So if I multiply 6 by 1 over 30, it's still going to give me 6 over 30. And that will be 3 to the power of 6 is 729 raised to the power of 1 over 30. I'm going to do the same for each of the terms. The next one, I have 2 to the power of 1 over 3. To change the denominator to 30, I'm going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 10. I have that as 2 to the power of 10 over 30. And factorizing, I have 3 to the power of 10 raised to the power of 1 over 30. The aim is I'm trying to look for a common power. So I have 3 to the power of 10, that's 1024 to the power of 1 over 30. And the last term, I have 5 to the power of 1 over 6 to change the denominator to 30. I'm going to multiply both the numerator and denominator by 5. And what I have is 5 to the power of 5 over 30. Factorizing, I have 5 to the power of 5 to the power of 1 over 30. That's equal to 5 to the power of 5. 3,000 
125 to the power of 1 over 30. So if you look at my power, I've been able to change each one to 1 over 30 as shown. So therefore, because they have the same power, it's easy for me to rearrange in descending or decreasing order such that I can ignore the power and start with that with the highest value, which is 3125, and that will be 5 to the power of 1 over 6. That's greater than the next one is 2 1 over 3. So I have 2 to the power of 1 over 3, which is greater than or bigger than the last one, 3 to the power of 1 over 5. Thanks for watching. Bye.